I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from the previous test papers. Let us look into this application question in details. So the question before us is a 10 kg monkey is hanging from two branches. The angles that the monkey make with the horizontal are 80 degrees and 40 degrees. Find the tension in each arm. So that is the question for us. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So first step is always to make a diagram to represent a situation. So let's say, so this is the bar from which the monkey is hanging. And uh, let us say that the two arms are making the angle 80. It is kind of like this. And let's say like this, right? So these are the two arms. Okay. And they are making an angle of... Uh, 80 degrees and 40 degrees with the horizontal so that means 80 degrees here and let us say 40 degrees now weight of the monkey will act downwards so we are given mass here 10 kg so it is 10 kg to get the weight we need to multiply this by 9.8 so remember that part so that could be sometimes a mistake for you right so remember, mass should be multiplied by the force of gravity, which is 9.8. And then you get uh, newtons, the force, right, or kg weight. So those are the units. Once you have sketched this diagram, to find the tension, let us say the tension in these two arms may be, let's say we say T1 here and T2 on the other side. What we should do is we should draw a vector diagram to represent all these forces. So we have three forces here. When in equilibrium, we'll find a triangle. So you can make a triangle. Uh, so what we will do is we'll consider this particular point and see how we draw uh, this force. So let's consider this point here. Now, to be in equilibrium, we should have equal and opposite force at this point, right? So or let me draw it here. So maybe... Okay, so I'll use this space. We'll, we'll draw it here. So from here, equal and opposite force from this point, which keeps these two things in place, will be in this direction, correct? And this force is 10 times 9.8. So let me write this as 98 Newton. Now we have a force tension on the right side from here. So let us say this is we'll draw like this and represent this T2 a line parallel so that is how the vector is I'm making slightly smaller now since I have a smaller space here so this is my tension T2 right T2 now with the horizontal as you can see it makes 40 so if I have kind of like this do you see that so this 40 degrees is is 40 degrees here do you see that 40 and 40 so in this particular diagram, if I if I draw a dotted line here, you can see this is kind of a representation of that corner. So this is 40, this is 40, right? So that is how we get this angle here as 40 degrees, correct? Now, from this point, we'll draw a parallel line to tension T1, and it should intersect this then only they are in equilibrium, right? So we have something like this here. So that becomes the tension T1. The angle here should be how much? So if I am drawing this line, so the angle here is 80. Do you see that? 80 degrees. Alternate angles between parallel lines. So this angle is 80 degrees for us. So I hope that sketching vector diagram from the force diagram is not so difficult. So we get this kind of a situation. Now this angle as a whole, you can combine these two and say you know, 120 degrees is the angle. Side opposite at 98 newtons. Now we can apply the sine law to solve this particular triangle. So we'll apply sine law to solve triangle, right? So the constant here is uh, we need to find T1. So we can say T1 over sine of the angle opposite to T1. So how do you find that angle? So what we could do here is we could extend this line. So that makes 90 degrees here. Now if this is 90 degrees, then 
40 is one angle, 90 is the other angle. So this angle is 50 degrees for us, correct? And that angle will be 10 degrees. So that is how you find all the angles of a triangle. Now when I say T1, so in this particular triangle, side angle opposite to T1 is 50 degrees, right? So it is T1 over sine of 50 degrees is equals to tension T2, let's say T2 over the angle opposite to T2 is 10 degrees. Sine of 10 degrees should be equals to what is given to us 98 newtons divided by the angle opposite to it which is sine of 120 degrees. Now it's always a good idea to first calculate this value, right? This is a constant. So it is uh, 98 divided by sine of 120 degrees, right? It gives us 11, 3.16, right? So that much newtons is what we get as this particular ratio. Now it is easy. What is T1 equals to? T1 equals to that number times sine of 50, right? So it is 11, 3.16 times sine of 50 degrees. And T2 will be the same number, 0.16 times sine of 10 degrees. Just cross multiply, correct? So that is how you can easily get the answer. So let's multiply this number by sine of 50 degrees. You get 86.68. So let me write this as 86. Point, let us say 7, right? Newtons. Let's round it to one decimal place. The other one is 113.16 times sine of 10, right? So that gives us 19.65. So 19.65, let me round this also to 7, right? So 19.7 newtons, right? So that is the tension in the two arms. Now we can write on our answer. The tension is T1 is 86.7 newtons and T2 is 19.7 newtons. I hope with this you understand very clearly how to sketch the force diagram, from there how to sketch the vector diagram and then apply the sign law to solve such questions related to tension. I am Anil Kumar, you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.